So how does one find the perimeter of a circle? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And to find the perimeter of a circle is easy, but you do have to keep in mind that the primary use of the word perimeter for a circle is actually circumference. That is actually the term used to describe the distance around a circle or the perimeter. But we're really trying to find the circumference of a circle. But anyway, here's the firm formula that you need in order to find circumference. It's going to be C equals 2 pi r. Now, obviously 2 is 2, pi is that number that is approximately 3.14, and r is the radius of a circle. So as long as you know the radius of a circle, then you'll be good to go. So here's a couple of really quick illustrations for you. Suppose you have a circle, and you're given that the radius, the distance from the center to a point on the circle is 7. Well, since you already have the radius there, you can just plug it in. So wherever you see the r, just put the 7 in. So you'll get c is equal to 2 pi times r is 7. Since the circumference is a multiplication formula, just multiply across. So 2 pi times 7, well, 2 times 7 is 14, so it'll be 14 pi for the circumference. That's the exact value. If you want to find the approximate value, just put in 14 pi on your calculator and you'll get more of a decimal answer. Now, the other scenario would be, suppose you have another circle and you're given that the distance from one end of the circle through the center to the other is 8. That's the diameter. That's twice the radius. Now, since you're looking for the radius itself, it's going to be half of 8, which of course is going to give you 4. So once you have the radius there, you can just plug it in. So c is equal to 2 pi times your radius is now 4. Again, just multiply across. 2 times 4 is going to give you 8, so you'll get 8 pi. So that's a couple of illustrations on how you calculate the perimeter or the circumference of a circle. I'm Jimmy Chang.